almost 400 years ago, Sir Isaac Newton came up with his third law of physics, which stated, for every action, there's a positive and equal reaction. And that still rings true today when we talk about our fundamentals of rotational hitting and how it applies to the powerhouse that drives everything, which is our hips. If we can get a better wind of the hips, thus we'll get a much more powerful unwind that will help us on our time and on our tempo. And we've broken this down into five steps, which I'm going to show you today. As the end of the season comes here, we're finishing up our tournaments, we're done with our worlds. We find that age, injury, and just lack of technique have taken us away from the emphasis on the hips. This is so key. If the hips go good, as Scott Kirby always says, they'll help snap the wrists. So let's go ahead and go through these five steps we've developed. Step number one is to go ahead and get ourselves in a good starting position. And we do that by building up a ramp on the outside of our foot. And we can also push the knee in. That gets the weight on the inside of the back foot. And thus, when we get in our stance, as soon as we lift up our front foot, we'll come forward. It'll drive us forward. You'll find that this helps you not to have to think about the stride so much. It'll just get your body forward when you start to wind your hips. That's step number one. Get a good position of the back foot so we come forward and let gravity and the force off the back foot push us forward into our stride. Step number two is to go ahead and as the pitch comes in, use it for timing and start to wind our hips. Develop a powerful wind. Again, the tempo on that is done nice and easy. It's a uh, boom, but go ahead and wind your hips. And you'll, you'll see that as you watch the pitch come in, if you wind your hips, as soon as you start to wind, that push off your back foot is going to push you forward. And you can go ahead and time the pitch and you'll get the feeling of starting out real slow and easy and then starting to speed up as you have to raise your back foot as a bracelet. But step number two, we want to wind our hips, wind our shoulders as we watch the pitch come in. We'll feel ourselves being pushed forward off the back foot and we'll develop a nice wind. Step number three comes very quickly afterwards because we're being pushed forward off that back foot. And step number three, we wind and we race our front foot back as a brace leg. And we have to do this rather quickly and what it allows us to do is set a nice body angle back. We always want to be braced back against that front leg so we can rotate on a nice tight axis. It doesn't allow us a chance to go ahead and step and let our front foot come down. If we have this weight pushing us forward in step number one, we wind in step number two, step number three, we'll automatically get a nice stride forward as we get ourselves pushed out to the front brace leg. The first three steps start out slowly with a nice easy tempo of the bar, and when our front foot hits our rotation or our explosion and unwind of the hips, the resulting force from Newton's third law allows us to explode the hips open against the front brace leg. Ba boom! We can really enhance this rotation too or this unwind by driving our shoulders with the hips. So we stay in the same plane and we keep a good angle and we look to drive that ball up. Ba boom! Again, the use of the rotational trainer will tie our shoulders and our hips together. And I call this the Scott Kirby drill because Scott Kirby has said that your hips snap your wrists. And the more you do this explosively, and the quicker you do it, the better you do it, your hips will naturally lead all the way around. And the very last thing you have just enough chance and time to do is to snap your wrists. I would drill this every day until you get it down perfect. And we're going to show you four different drills you can use to really maximize the hips and make them the A number one drive and force in your rotational swing. So we always, in our teaching, try to relate to people things that come very naturally. And one of those things is just throwing a ball. And you're not throwing the ball at the catcher because that would promote, you know, a downward open of the hips. You actually pretend like you're throwing the ball up over the fence. And just, you know, when we say that to people, they just take it and they just naturally transfer the weight and rotate and throw up and the body angle I mean it looks just like my swing it feels just like my swing and when we use that people really relate to it it really gets them opening the hips and transferring the weight and then you just have to say well even though I have a bat in my hands and I have to worry about my snap along with it you just put it all together you think about it's almost like you're throwing the bat up over the fence um, you go from throwing the ball up over the fence to throwing the bat up over the fence. It has a very, very similar feel. Now the rotational trainer ties the upper body to the lower body, but if you just want to focus on the hips and the lower body itself, you can just use the bat on the hip drill where I just grab it and hold it up against my hips and then it's easy, boom, and I squat and lower as I stride and then boom, I explode and get that nice weight transfer and always make sure 
when you're doing these drills, you're not looking straight out in front of you or down. You're actually looking up in the air where the pitch is coming in. You know, even if you're playing uh, ASA, the ball is still 12 feet high up in the air. So I'm constantly looking up like this, and then boom, it just naturally gets you with the vision of swinging up through the ball. A really great way to get your hips back into the swing and to get the feeling of the hips leading your swing, not the upper body, is to use a garden rake. You can use one of two kinds. Uh, you can use the fan out rake for leaves, or you can use the heavier construction type rake. And what's nice about these is the grip is more similar to the size of your bat handle than the uh, pipe drills that Barry used before in some of our early episodes. And the nice thing about this is you have to use your hips to pull it around in an arc at an up angle. And you can certainly get in your stance and go, ba, boom. The more you can explode with your hips, the easier your wrists are going to turn automatically and the swing is going to happen naturally. Your hips have to lead the swing and the rake is a great tool to use. Davey, it's interesting, I showed you the, my rake drill earlier and you liked it, but you've actually been ahead of me on, on the game as you always are. Show us what you have there and how you've been working with it. Hi, I'm Davey Reed and Jason Branch put me in touch with what's called the Jimmer Stick and you can get them online. And the Jimmer Stick is about a four to five pound uh, regular bat that's made designed directly like a bat. It's got the barrel, it's got the edge, it's got the thin handles, the thin knobs. It works directly like it. But I, I use it, I take 50 swings off the tee two to three times a week, which is just incredible because it's got the smaller barrel, which if you learn to get hitting the ball in the middle with this, you're definitely going to hit it great with your regular bat. It is a strengthening tool. It is a follow-through tool because it forces you to follow through when the jimmer stick is hitting you in the middle of the back. You know that everything is coming around, your hips are opening up. I haven't had a hit in days. My average is still zero. Boys, I got a keeper! <laughs> no need to go fishing when you have a sure catch with a deemer in the end load. Who? You don't have to hit lowly. Yeah, and end loads only that cam. Senior end load is the top performance bat among the senior crop, and they're also world renowned for their ASA and new trip products. Evil Sports provides us with their innovative BP ball and the highest quality game balls available to you, the rec player. Shirtsandlogos.com are the makers of our game jerseys and the pioneers in sub dice sportswear, as well as being the licensed TPS Louisville Slugger apparel. We thank our partners in Swing Makeover. The GT is the official tee for our lessons in our clinics. Your time to register for the first ever senior softball training camp December 2nd to 5th at Cocoa Beach is now. Softball Magazine provides three days of fun and high level instruction. I'll be there with staff working for you the entire camp as an instructor and presenting our Swing Makeover program. First class all the way and a great Christmas present to yourself to jumpstart the new season. Contact Gene at softballmagazine.com. While spots are still available, can't wait to see ya. I'm having December 17th back fusion surgery, but will be available for limited December and January lessons in St. Pete, along with Brett, Destiny, Pops, and Bear. Email Ken Van Bogart at gmail.com for details.